Hey everybody, it's Michael Gold. I'm the president and CEO of Gold Family Wealth, where we help people make smart, well-informed decisions to improve your financial world so you can achieve your financial goals. Now, have you ever wondered why somebody would actually engage and work with a wealth manager? You see and you hear all these people that they're getting all this advice from these various people. And then you hear about this small group of successful individuals that are working with high level top tier wealth managers. And you ever wonder why, like at what level or why you would actually have to do that? Well, today I'm going to give you five reasons why people generally work with a what I call a top tier wealth manager. So let me just bring this up for you one second. Okay. Okay. So five reasons why people are working with or choose to work with a wealth manager. So the first has to do with complexity. So just think about how the complexity of your life changes with every stage you're in. If you remember back when you were like a young woman or a young man, just getting out of college or just getting out of school, starting your life, and um, it wasn't that complex, right? You went to work, you went to dinner, you paid your rent or the mortgage or whatever, and you went grocery shopping. And as your life progressed, if you got married, started a business, had children, got divorced, right, uh, and so on and so forth, sold a business, uh, invested into other things, and started building assets and building complexity. And before you know it, you look around and you have to deal with your cash flow, your budgeting, your kids' education funding, going on vacation with the family, how, how that falls into the budget, making sure that you're planning for your retirement correctly, that you have enough in reserve. If you buy a house, or if you buy multiple homes and then just managing all of those things and then making sure everything is well protected so there's no unfounded frivolous lawsuits that come along that can potentially blow things up for you. Then also looking at, okay, is my legacy in order? Like who's going to take care of my children if you have children if something should happen to me? Or what if... Um, what if something should happen to my business? Is that protected? So there are more and more layers of complexity. People tend to start saying, you know what? I need to get some real professional advice to guide me to make sure I'm not missing anything. Not missing anything, many missing any opportunities that could really expand and progress my vision. Or to ensure that with all of this complexity, that there's no holes or what I call gaps, or these are obstacles that can kind of like a landmine, if you will, along the way as you're progressing towards your dreams. That's one of the key reasons that I see people engage with somebody like myself. Their world is just getting too complex. And it's not that they can't do it, even though it becomes a, a full-time job. It just becomes overwhelming. And having that second set of eyes of somebody that's laser focused on all of these areas is one of the major reasons people start working with a top tier, what I call a top tier wealth manager. Okay, so the second reason somebody would work with a, with a wealth manager is change. So think about the changes that go on in your world. So I can think back when I started out in business, I had gotten married and a few years after that, I got divorced. So my focus, which was on business and building that out, changed significantly everything that we were building for our future just went away and then we had to deal with a whole other set of circumstances to make sure that everybody can go about their business and then a few years later i got remarried and started a family and so the changes in in the dynamic on your personal front will dictate multiple things that can affect you and a lot of people say you know, I need some professional guidance here. It's starting to get a little bit overwhelming. It's adding that complexity. Remember that, let me go back to this, that first key reason. When you have changes in your life, sometimes that adds to the complexity. Okay, so it goes hand in hand. So complexity and then shifts. You know, the one thing that I learned early on, actually when I was like 21 or 22 years old, first starting in business, one of the best pieces of advice I got was actually from my uncle. And he said, he said, Michael, listen, the one constant in business and the one constant in life is change. So we have to understand that things are going to change in your life personally and externally. There's going to be changes in the tax code. There's going to be changes in the market. There's going to be changes in your business, so on and so forth. And when these changes occur, what you currently had in place may no longer be relevant 
And you may need to look and work with somebody that can put a second set of eyes on these things to make sure that whatever is changing internally or externally, you're able to tackle and you're able to handle. So that's the second key reason that people tend to work with, again, what I call a top tier wealth manager. Let's go into the third. Okay. Time. This is a key thing. Now, time, it's not that you can't manage your own budget. It's not that you can't manage your own money. It's not that you can't, you know, learn about taxes or learn about estate and, and become competent in these things. These are all learned skills. It's a matter of time. You could also cut your own hair, right? You choose not to because one, you're probably not going to do it well. And two, who's got the time to learn how to do that and also deal with their day job, their family and all of these other things. So when you have lots of complexity, right? And so you're in multiple different areas that need to be explored. You have changes going on in your life internally and externally. Quite frankly, who has the time? Who has the time to really do this? Let me tell you, if you think about it for a second, keeping up with the ever-changing economic landscapes, the ups and downs of the stock market and, and the, all the multiple factors that drive that, the changes in the tax code, right? The political environment, right? All of those types of things um, require time and energy to learn how it would impact your current course of action or what you're planning to do. And quite frankly, when you start thinking about the time and energy that you would have to put into doing these things, not that you couldn't do it, it just becomes a choice to say, all right, I can focus my time on this thing, but then I have to give up time with my family, growing my business, going on vacation, playing golf, or whatever it is that you like to do. So a lot of people, when it becomes too complex, too many changes, and it's just like, there's just too much time involved to become an expert in all these areas. Why don't I hire an expert that can help me focus on these things so I could spend my time doing what I want to do, not learning about the tax code? Okay, let's go on to the fourth reason. Okay, the fourth is to evaluate. So this is one of the, I would say when we're brought in to work with a new client is to evaluate their current course of action. They have all of these things. You have all of these things. You have investments, you have debt uh, from, it could be student loan or business debt or, or whatever. Um, you have retirement plans, you have estate plans, you have all of these insurance policies. And a lot of people come to me and they say, listen, we, we have all of this, but we need to make sure it's going to deliver the results that we want, right? Is everything you're doing now set up correctly to deliver the results you want? So I challenge you to take a look at everything you're doing and think, think on the, the small level like your homeowner's insurance, right? Your personal insurance, all the way up to your investment planning and your estate planning and taxes. And think about that for a second and think about your goals, what you want to achieve and think, are the pieces that you have in place now going to deliver the results you want? And if you question, and most people do, it's okay to question to say, listen, I think it will, but I'm not 100% sure. If that's, the, if that's where you come out, that's typically why people would hire a what I call a top tier wealth manager to evaluate your current course of action to make sure what you're doing is going to work. And if there are any gaps or if there are any missed opportunities to help you think through them. So again, you can make a well-informed decision so you can improve your financial life and move closer to your financial goals. So that's the fourth key reason. This really where I see it a lot is the evaluation of the current course of action. Or if you're thinking about doing something and you have an idea or somebody is recommending something and you just want a second set of eyes on it to see if it's right. Okay, let's go to the fifth. All right, this is reassurance. Reassurance of everything that you're doing. Now, this is different than evaluation. And the reason why this is have you ever thought about your mindset around all of these finances from the stock market, your investments, the movings, the ups and downs along the way? I always give the analogy of your financial world is the equivalent of flying on an airplane. Now, I'm on the East Coast, so if you're ever flying from New York to L.A., you know it takes roughly around five hours and change. And so the idea is when you're flying, right, and you hit some turbulence, 
I know from my personal standpoint, I'm not the best flyer. And when we hit some turbulence and all I see is the, the, um, the stewardesses um, strapped into their seats and the seatbelt sign on, and I can't see out the window because it's pitch black, I get a little bit nervous. However, when the captain comes on, comes on the loudspeaker and he says, or she says, listen, we have a bit of bumpy air. It's going to be about 10, 15 minutes like this, and we're going to find better air, and we're going to land in LAX in about an hour. Even though I can't see anything, knowing that I have a competent person at the helm that just reassured me that we're going to be okay, or if they came on the loudspeaker and said, look, we're in the middle of a storm, we're in the middle of a storm right now, uh, we need to course correct, so we're going to make a hard left, and we're going to maybe have to land in Dallas. Or we're going to go around the storm or something like that. So when you have all of these financial strategies in place, your investments, your retirement, your tax, and there are just changes going on out there and things get a little bit uncertain, and there's a lot of uncertainty. Remember what I said, the one constant is change. So when that uncertainty happens or that volatility happens, a really good wealth manager will will provide that reassurance that, Things are going to be okay. It's a little bit bumpy right now, but everything will pan out. Or, look, this is a problem, and we need to course correct, and this is how we're going to course correct. And they lead, and they lead. Now, you ultimately make the decision, but having that reassurance from somebody that has been there, that has the experience, that knows what they're doing, is really game-changing because I see a lot of people miss reaching their financial goals because they hit the eject button when the turbulence happened. They didn't get that reassurance. They got scared and pulled the eject, the eject, uh, the eject button. And what happens is they never made it to LA. They're walking in some farm in, in Iowa or something like that. So that's another reason that people tend to work with a wealth manager. They just wanna make sure they're gonna be okay. And if there's a problem, how do you course correct? Okay, so I hope this message has served you. If you have any questions, you want to go any deeper, I'm going to throw on my my contact info here. Feel free to call, email me. If you just have a question, I will be answering the emails personally, and you can schedule a time to speak directly with me if you want to go any deeper on this or anything else out there. So again, I want you to make smart decisions about your money, and I look forward to seeing you out there.